we study muscles because they're interesting. There's a whole lot of fundamental questions to do with muscles that are, have not been answered. Uh, and so it's fun to tackle questions that are uh, new and haven't previously been tackled. But we've got an end objective, and the end objective is to better prevent and treat contracture. Lots of people uh, get contractures, often people who have neurological lesions, so that includes people who've had stroke, uh, people with head injuries, people with spinal cord injury, children with cerebral palsy. Uh, whenever anyone has a neurological lesion that changes the way in which they use their muscles, they're at risk of developing a contracture. We're tackling it at a number of different levels. We're interested in uh, the mechanisms of contracture, and so we study the mechanics uh, by which muscles lengthen using techniques from muscle physiology and from biomechanics. Uh, but we also do epidemiological studies to try and understand the burden of contracture and to understand who gets contracture and clinical trials and systematic reviews of clinical trials to work out what's an effective intervention for contracture. For the last few years we've been using ultrasound uh, imaging to study muscles. We can look inside muscles and we can look at how muscles lengthen and we can do that in people who have uh, healthy muscles and in people who have contracture. But more recently with Bart Bolsley, uh, we've been using diffusion tensor imaging to study deformations of muscles. And we can use diffusion tensor imaging and MRI technique to get exquisite images of muscles, both in healthy populations and in people who have contractures.